Matrices, that's the plural for the word matrix. All right, up on the board, I have six different versions of a matrix. All right, it's an arrangement of numbers. All right, it's an arrangement of numbers, and those numbers will be in rows, rows, and columns. Okay, and it's always put inside that bracket, those numbers. All right, I'm going to start you off real easy today on one is how to write a matrix by yourself, and then two, how to determine what size it is. All right, how big of the matrix is? Because we can have as, as many numbers as we want in that rows and columns. Uh, you guys are probably used to this. Don't get freaked out if you look at number one A there. I'm not going to ask you to solve the three equations, three variables. All right, but the goal is at the end of this unit to show you how a matrix actually solves those. All right, instead of doing it old school like you guys used to, like eliminate a variable, plug it back in, eliminate another variable. All right, so let's look at one A here. I want I want to write a matrix. For this system of equations, three variables, three equations. So we'll start with our brackets here. And I'm going to make this very easy. The numbers out in front. I don't want to keep calling the numbers out in front because you guys are well enough in math. Those are the coefficients, right? The coefficients. All right. So the first one here, 2x plus y plus 2z equals 2. All you write are the coefficients. No variables go in your matrix. Only the coefficients, the numbers out in front. So my first row right here, ready, is going to be the first equation. Two. One. Two. Then watch what I'm about to do. To signal that we got the equal sign, we're going to put a vertical bar down right here. That signals that's the equal sign. And on the other side, we're going to put a two. And then we'll keep going. Three, signs travel, signs travel, negative five, negative one, and four. And then the final one, one, negative two, negative three, negative six. So there's your first matrix, okay? represented by that system of equations. And we always assume it's x, y, z. That's what we always use, all right? So x's, y's, z's. All right, how about the next one here? I got a little trick here, and I'm sure some of you guys can figure out what the heck would happen. So we got what, five, negative two, negative three. I got my vertical bar that signifies the equal sign. And I know there's a zero there, but we still got to, it's a number. We still got to put it there. Just not going to leave a blank. All right, what's the deal coming up now? Hey, 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 one, right? Everyone agrees, one, one. You don't leave a hole in it. You don't leave a blank. What do you think I'm going to put there? A zero. You guys got it. Done. That means there is no Z value for that equation. Five. All right, so for this next one, be careful. First number. Two. Two. Zero. zero, right? Because there is no Y. Negative three. And then four on the other side. So that's how we write that matrix. All right, all good? I think you can go in reverse now. I'll give you the matrix. You give me the three equations I started with using X, Y, and Z. Make sure you go across the rows to find the equation. Don't go to the columns. All right, first equation. What do you think you got there for me? First equation. Oh, it's been so long. Kate, it's been so long. Let's go. What do you think you got for that first equation? Five. Good. You got it. No Y in that one because there's a zero there. Yep. All right. Second equation from the second row. Oh, Emma. Good. No X there. No X. You guys are good. You're good. Final one. Here we go. Paige, what do you got? Good. Okay. Anybody have any issues writing those? Okay. I'm good. So what do we got now? Oh, yeah. All right. Now let's talk about the size of a matrix. Right? Size. 
how big a matrix is. What is the size of it? Now, instead of calling it to the size, I'd like to use this word going forward, which is the order of it. What's the order? All right. The way you determine it is you tell me the number of rows by the number of columns. All right. It's rows by columns. So for this one right here, and again, I'm not, I'm being serious here because I'm not going to assume anything. When we say rows, that's what we mean right there. Those are rows versus here. Those are columns. Just so we're all on the same page. I know most of you know that, but I'm not going to assume anything. So how many rows does this one have? How many rows? Three. And how many columns? Four. So when we ask for the size, the order, we say this matrix is a three by four matrix. Okay. Three by four matrix. All good? Rows by columns. Okay. Rows by columns. All right. Take a look at the couple of examples I have up here for you. So determine the order of this matrix right here. What is the size? What by what? This is a what by what matrix. Rows by columns. Rows by columns. So that first one, shoom. Richie, what do you got? This is a two by four. Yep. It's a two by four matrix. Rows by columns. Two rows, four columns. What? All right, part B. Can't really screw it up, right? Oh, boy. Harper, part B. Can't really screw this up. There's only... So, wait, why is it not four by two? Right, here, here are your rows. Ready? Those are rows. There's two of them. Those are rows going this way. These are columns. Yeah. <laughs> so there's two rows with four columns. Okay. All right, so if you go to part B right now, how many rows do I have? Uh, two. Two. <laughs> and how many columns do I have? Two. Two. So that's a two by two. Okay. Uh, C. Ooh, C. What's that one? Rows by columns here. All right, let's go. You ready? You're up again. Wait, I just need to think about it. Yep, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. How many rows? Start with that. How many rows? One? Yep. Yeah. Five, and four? You got it. Okay. We're good now. Okay. It's <laughs> and then how about D? I just got a nine spot in there. Oh, boy. Here we go. Richie? Last one. One by one. Yep. One by one. Okay. All right, anybody, we all good there. Next thing, how do I get a number out? Like, I want to go, I want to, here's 66. What spot is it in? All right, I can't go, oh, it's in the middle. Like, that ain't helping me. All right, I want to know what spot it's in. And it's very similar to the way you name it. Okay, so for instance, I'll stay right here on this one before I go to the actual examples. Let's say I wanted the number 66. All right, so you would tell me that's what? Row, two, column. So I would write, and I'll show you a little, it's a little abbreviation at the bottom, 22, three. Row two, column three, boom. Where does it match up? All right, that's equal to 66. So let me go to the actual examples now. All right, so take my matrix D here. All right, up above is just what I explained to you. So take matrix D. I want to know what number is in spot 2-2. Two, two. All right, row 2. Yep, go, keep going. Sorry. Yep, I know. That's just some, some notes. I just went over all that. So I got matrix D right now. I want to know which number is in spot 2-2. Two, two. So again, row 2, column 2. And hey, no one, hey, don't be bashful. Go ahead, use your fingers if you have to. I do sometimes. Row two two. What number is in row two two? Sorry, go ahead, Harper. What do you mean two three? Wait, are we on A? Yep, two two. So what's in two two? Four. Four. Yep. So element is there is four. The number four is there. Yeah. I don't get B. Never mind. Okay. But B is two two. Yeah, we can. 
Well, B is two. Oh, there's like not three. Here. There's a third row. But there's not a third column for two. I'm not there yet. Okay. No, relax. I'm not there yet. Um, is it, wait, 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 wait. We got like eight different thoughts going here. Oh, is everyone all right? Why two, two is four? Yeah. Zero. Okay. Good job. Three, one. Page three, one. Is zero, yep. What's up? Three, col row three, column one. Good? Okay. One, one. One, one. What's in one, one spot? Ariana, right, what's in one, one spot? Negative one, good. Two, three. No, there's not a zero there. There's nothing there. Does not exist. All right? No solution. No solution. No Correct. Problems. I just want to make sure we're on our toes here. Don't put zero. Can I put an X? Sure. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, I don't put a, I don't put a zero there though, because there that's a number. Questions? Okay. I'm gonna let you guys go on your that's about as much as I had to teach you today, but I want you to practice on your own right now. So go ahead. This is in class right now. This is not an assignment like tomorrow. So you're just practicing everything we've done so far. And then we'll go over the answers here in a second. So take your time. You got to get the basics down before we move on. Because we're going to be adding, subtracting these matrix matrices, multiplying them together. We need to do the basics first. No, I'm going to put the answers up in a second. I probably, uh, yeah, never mind. All right, for that first page, here you go. Take a peek. Take a peek. Make sure you got everything. Make sure I did it right.
everyone good questions all right before i show you the last one here i went by the directions i did x y z w but if you went in alphabetical order just switch my w and x okay so no i don't need freaking out any whining all right i just went with what i went you know x w x y z and then w because i read that as is all right but if you want if you did it in alphabetical order it's fine just switch just switch those if you did it in alphabetical order <laughs> Before we end, hey, before we end it, I know it doesn't seem like we did much, but I can't, hey guys, I can't just give you a whole heavy dose of matrices and you've never seen this stuff before. All right, this is all in the pre-calculus stuff. Last thing, it's a lot of this units on Delta Math for the assignments. Don't do them in advance, please. Do them when you come to class every day. All right, do them when you come to class. Don't do them in advance. 